Hi, and welcome to our walkthrough for raising invoices and recording payments in Crunch. During this session, we're going to look at creating a brand new client. So adding one to our account so we can start invoicing, and then we'll look to complete the invoice by recording a payment. So first things first, let's set up a new client. So head to sales and clients, and then press this create new button in the lower right. First off, enter the client's name as seen here. And then next, just enter their trading address. So this is where the invoice is going. After that, you can enter their email address. Now it's important to enter one here if you do want to utilize the email feature in Crunch. And finally, just define your payment terms, which is when you want to get paid by. If you're happy with all of that, go down to save. And that's your new client now set up. As we can see here, it's shown on the client dashboard. So now let's go over to invoices and then we'll go to the lower right once again. And from here, we need to start entering details of the client we're invoicing. So select your client from the drop down and enter a issue date. You'll also have some additional options like add a note if you need to. And then next up, you're adding your line items. Now with your line items, it will default to a line item type of simple as shown in this example, but you can also change it to detailed. Now, the only real difference here is that simple is a one-off fee so you're charging a set fee whereas detailed as we can see you're charging by rate and quantity so i'm going to go back to simple and this is what your should more or less look like so we've got a description price the vat rate and then of course the amount in total including vat now if we scroll down you'll then go down to the payment terms again now you can change this if you need to but as we already set the payment terms up with a client we'll leave it at 28 and you just wanna make sure the correct bank account is chosen because this will show on the invoice. If you're happy with all of that, just go down and press save and view. You'll then be presented with a preview of your invoice. So this is a draft invoice at the moment. So it'll just give you one last chance to check it all over before making it official. So once you're happy with the preview, on the right hand side, you've got a few different options here. You've got issue and email. So this is if you are going to send the invoice directly from Crunch, You've got issue, which is just if you're using it for bookkeeping. So if you're not going to send the invoice and you're just raising it for records keeping, just use issue. And then of course you can also edit and even download it as a PDF if perhaps you um, want to send it by your own email account or something instead. In this example, we're gonna go ahead and press issue and email. A little pop out will come up from the right where it gives you the options to choose who to send it to. So if you've got multiple contacts within the same company, you can specify who you want the invoice going to. And then you can also, of course, customize the message that's going to be sent alongside that invoice as well. So once we're happy, we can go ahead and press issue and email. And then what will happen is your invoice will end up on the invoices dashboard, as we can see here. And it shows the outstanding amount is owed in a specific amount of days. Of course, the next step is actually getting paid. So what you need to do once you've received payment is record a new client payment. You do this very simply by locating the invoice in question and using this sort of handout button. Once you've clicked that, it will take you onto the payment screen. You just select add a payment as shown at the bottom here, and then you enter the details of the payment. So simply a date and the amount that you've received as well. So it will look like this go down to save and view in the lower right. So you get the preview of the invoice again. However, on this occasion, those options have changed and it will just show that the invoice is now paid. So that's everything from setting up a new client to raising an invoice and finally recording the payment.